I got 13. Really sad. I just like last year. But man, Joshi is. I didn't want to like listen to the masses, but Joshi is kind of low-key crazy, don't you think? As you previously mentioned, Japan and their characters, right? Um, <laughs> we gotta talk about the elephant in the room. The bear in the room. Bro, like the skill level that like Toriguri had to make all those combos is like insane. As of right now, he is the best snake in the world. I never seen a snake like that. Oh. So, does this mean that you're gonna get your revenge in Japan? I do when I get my from All right, so we're back with another Go Talks. Another week has passed, and let me tell you, the, the time has been going by pretty fast. I mean, it's already April. So this time around, we did have a tournament last weekend where my man's MK Leo did participate. It was in Vancouver. Battle of BC happened. Lots of interesting results. We're gonna be talking a little bit about it because we definitely have a lot to talk about, let me tell you. So, Leo, how was Vancouver? I know you love Vancouver. So, um, um, yeah, tell me about it. Vancouver is crazy, bro. A lot of crazy results. Well, let's not talk about it first. Vancouver is a beautiful city. Do you know about it? Uh, everybody, um, I know it's expensive to, to go to Vancouver because it's very expensive. But if you have the chance, of course, it's really beautiful. You should go. But, man, holy horde. That's I mean, I know I should be talking about my results, but I never seen a snake like that, bro. Like, nope, nope, nope. Like, nope. The, like the way Horde was punishing, like, like I want to say in a specific thing, but like he was just punishing everything like really well, and, yeah. and every single time he was in advantage, it was really impressive. So, uh, tournament went crazy. A lot of Japanese players. Um, shout outs to what of VC. A lot of Japanese players always. But man, this was a really tough tournament. And to talk about my run a little bit, I got 13. Really sad. I just like last year. I feel like Vancouver oh, is yeah. just like my 13 place, place bro. Like, it's, it's tough. Uh, unfortunately, lost to two Japanese players. You know how it be. Mm -hmm. Japanese players are really strong. Um, but man, that run, like the Joshi player. No, oh, dude. Yeah. I didn't even know, like, I well, I was watching that set, and I saw he went for, like, the forwarder into F-Smash thing. When he did it, I was like, okay, he's gonna do F-Smash, like, Yoshi doesn't have anything else. And he did, like, angled up F-Smash, it's like, yeah. who the f*** thinks about things like that? It's f crazy. And, like, but, the, uh, setup, yeah. the, set, the setup was there, like, it was just, like, a complete read, and... I'm not gonna lie, like, I feel like he was ready for everything. It, it, it didn't matter what he did. If, if I didn't roll, if I stayed in place, like, I feel like he was just like. He was like, prepared. No, he, like, he already had the download. Like, I feel yeah. like. So, <laughs> that, that was. Yeah. Like, playing someone like that is really impressive. Um, but, man, Yoshi is. I didn't want to, like, listen to the masses, but Yoshi is kind of low key crazy. <laughs> you think? Uh, Yoshi's pretty broken up, and I, I, I'm known about. Yoshi being broken. I mean, Meme. I've lost to him twice. I've beaten him like five times, but I mean, it's still pretty tough. And I mean, last year I lost to him at Smash Factor. So yeah, Yoshi's pretty good. It's just no one really uses the character. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's Meme and then there's Ron and Yoshidora. And aside from that, there's like, there's a couple others. I mean, I know there's like a couple in Tri State. I forget the names. Farao is one of them. Farao. Yeah. Um, there's one more that I'm forgetting the name of, and I hate that I am because uh, he's is pretty it? good. Is it Jay Mafia's? Uh, no, it not that guy. Definitely not that guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's another tri-state player. Um, anyways, I'll if I remember, I'll tell you. But uh, there, there, there's Michael from Soka. That's oh, Michael's pretty good too. Yeah. Yes, Michael's goaded. Um, but yeah, no, Yoshi, pretty strong. And uh, in winners, oh, dude, okay, the winners. We gotta talk about Goody Goody. the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room. The bear in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. That was just like, I mean, um, <laughs> of course, oh. Banjo is like not that good, right? But it just, <laughs> bro, what can I tell you? Like, like some of the stuff I just wasn't expecting. Of course, I played him the crew battle. I think mm, the battle yeah. went re really differently. I don't know if because I played him the crew battle, it went that different. But. Yeah. Maybe PS2 too. I was I like considering about it, thinking about it like after the set. PS2 might not have been like the best option for me. Um, but bro, like the skill level 
that like Tori Guri had to make all those combos is like insane. Like really, I never got hit by those combos like before playing Tori Ever, Guri. Yeah. So, so I didn't even know like like that could happen. <laughs> so I'm not gonna I, lie, I was kind of shocked about it. Yeah, 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 and I understand. Um, you also, I'm, I'm just gonna say it because this is the first thing that came to my mind. You don't play online, and I think that's why you also get a struggle versus banjo because there's a lot of banjos online. I mean, none of them play the same way as Tori Guri for sure. Hmm. But some of those combos, um, there were some that were like really like, oh wow, that works. But some of the others were like, damn. I think if you have, if you played like. A couple of banjos, you would get like a general idea of what he wants, but yet again, it's Tori Guri. He's like the best of the best, so it probably wouldn't have matter either way. And banjo, yeah, he's looking not that great, but I, mm -hmm. I mean, I think he made banjo look a little better because he still looked a little like the character still looks like ass. Like, let's be honest, it's yeah, like, it, it doesn't look tough to hear like when you're watching it. No, no, yeah. Yeah, 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 like you take a look at his op air and it's like, oh, he he deals like seven and it never kills. It's like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't blame you, man. Like, honestly, as you've previously mentioned, Japan and their characters, right? Um, <laughs> they, maybe they maybe, maybe not this one. Maybe not this one. Vanjo's really <laughs> honest. Vanjo's really yeah. honest. That's, a, that's what I gotta say. But And also Joker, I believe Joker does very good. I, 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 I guess Banjo. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. of course. <laughs> So maybe not this one, but it's still yeah, DLC, yeah. DLC, that's true. DLC. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, I do think Yoshi is one of those, thank you for trying to play the game characters, because uh, Yoshi is like, I think I saw it once, you like F-tilted with Arsene at like 160, and the armor didn't break, I was like, dude, he should have been dead, and yeah. he just melee through it, it's like, oh yeah, double jump armor from melee, haha, GG, <laughs> like, yeah. Um, some don't moves don't even like get him out of his son entirely. Like some moves just to stop him. Like yeah. I, I hit him with Violet uh, back air as well, and nothing happened. Like he just stuck. And Violet back air is so strong. Like yeah, why? yeah, yeah, dude. I don't know. I, th that set was just crazy. Like when you went Violet, like I thought, well, he hasn't played Violet in a while, but also Violet is yeah, the match destroyed yeah. Yoshi. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just good. But then I don't know those armor scenarios that you were talking about. I was very surprised too. I, like, I, I feel like uh, the worst thing about the matchup was getting edge guarded that much. I feel like a lot of the times, even though I was just like using all, using all of my resources, like Yoshi was just there. It's too floaty. Like he's just yeah. like over there forever. And like he throws an egg, then like he catches your air dodge. Even if you don't air dodge, like he can just like nair and nair and then like make his back on the stage. Like, the edge guard was the tough part in the match, I feel like. Yeah, if I'm not incorrect, uh, you won game one, I think. And... Uh, I lost game one, and then I won. Oh, you lost game one? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. But one of the games that you lost, it was like last talk. Uh, maybe last hit, I don't remember if it was last hit. Mm -hmm. But you died because of that, because uh, he went like super deep off stage to the side, and he forward dared you. Yeah. And I don't know, Yoshi making it all the way over there to like edge guard you because like, you directional air dodge. I was like, okay. Yeah. That, could that, be dead. I, I could have directional air dodge in, right? But yeah, yeah. I wonder if that would change something because Yoshi just goes. Yeah. Yoshi just, just has something. insane drift. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think uh, top level Yoshis are very, very difficult to play against because, uh, I mean, you saw Yoshi Dora versus Spargo, for example. I mean, I think Cloud. Is still Yoshi's worst matchup, yeah. and he went three one in winners game, five, and then three right? two. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So like, even though yeah, Yoshi has some bad matchups, top level Yoshi is very, very difficult to deal with. Man, uh, it's exciting because Yoshi. I, I like Yoshi as a character. It's funny. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I like Yoshi as a character too. I like watching Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Yoshi's just that video game character that you just cannot hate, bro. Like, you gotta hate on Yoshi. Uh, uh, bro, like, I agree. On. Like, it's just like, wow. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, so nice, bro. It looks like, yeah. So cool. The best and yeah. Speaking of nice, something that is true is that all of the Yoshi players I have met, except one, I'm not gonna say who it is, are all very, very kind. Like, super, super nice people. So. Yeah, I don't know. They are they are all very nice and they're all very passionate about their character too. So like yeah. I like that. I like seeing passion nice. towards their character, you know? Yeah, yeah. I like it too, for sure. Yeah. Like Toriguri had his banjo plush here or something. That was pretty nice. 
Yeah, everybody was cheering it, like every single time he put it in the air. It was like I- Lion King, <laughs> like Lion oh, yeah. King, and like when Zimba uh, pulled song. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Oh, dude. But I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, those were the losses for sure, and I mean, tough for sure. Yeah, but uh, talk a little bit more about uh, your other 13, record, you know? 13, just like last year. Bro, yeah. Sure. Oh, and last year, if I'm not incorrect, you lost to a Japanese player as well. Did I know I lost to Zamba and oh I lost to Kameme, that's right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And I lost to Zamba, unfortunately. Oh yeah, oh, you lost to Zamba. Yeah. We're not talking about that. That never happened. Anyway, let's talk about the rest of your bracket. Uh how was uh, it? <laughs> in, in my bracket, it was like really fun. Uh the first match I played was against a Wiffa trainer. Uh oh, Savior. For some for um no 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 not not Savior. It was uh like my first round of pools. Oh, Okay. It was against Moore Moore Moose. Um, I know him because uh, he's promoted uh, some of my controllers. So shout outs to, to him. Um, he was a Wi-Fi trainer, and for some reason, I know the Wi-Fi trainer matchup, bro. Like I don't know what is it about it. Maybe Joker just does good naturally. But I played a Wi-Fi, then I played a PT. Uh, I know PT really well. I love playing PT. Uh, then into that, I played Hawk. Hawk is a Midwest rub. Uh, yeah. Bro, I play with Big Boss a lot. Uh, there's not many Ravs that can beat me. And then I play Dark Weezy instead of Xavier. Because I was going to play Xavier, but uh, he kind of choked the game lead against Dark Weezy. <laughs> <so. laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, I just played Tori Guri. Tori Guri, of course, we know the result. Blah, blah. We we'll don't talk about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> losers. Then I played WebJP, and it was 3-1. Oh, okay. Uh, WebJP, by the way. Okay, that said, I gotta be honest. And I'm gonna tell you this. I think WebJP was like this close to beating you in every game. Yeah. yeah but he would just sure. not clutch it out. Like, ever. Like, how did you do it? I mean, I guess it's chic and I know that. But like, there were times where he was three stalking you. Like, he couldn't do shit. Like, yeah, well, uh, tell me about that. Because that's actually, that was a really interesting set to watch. Like, uh, the, the the last two games, I know that like he was literally tree stalking me, but there was one single interaction that I took advantage of, which was the way he was approaching the uh, like the platform on PS2. I don't oh, know if you mm. remember, but he got hit by down air at like fifty, like or sent down air at, like fifty in the in the platform simply because like I guess that's part of his movement, like the way he was approaching back from disadvantage, and mm. that's how I took the second stock because like I was gonna destroy it, yeah, but I take the first stock. Then I deal 50, which is not pretty hard because she is a uh, fast faller. Uh, yeah. Combos work really well. Then I just hit that, I guess, habit from him. And that's how he died at like 50 in both games. And that's how he did it. Like, I took yeah. advantage of that habit. And then after that, I guess, just getting desperate against, against her send. That's, that's how it be. You know that. Um, you lose the, se- the second stock, then you're just like, bro, Arsene is still here. Yeah, Arsene. You, yeah. you get grabbed in like 50... But that's just how the matchup is, I'm going to be real. Because, like, a lot of the games, uh, except for one game, I uh, wasn't in the lead. That's just how it works. It's like, the the characters work similar, but, like, she is still a little bit better when Joker doesn't have her scent. Like, at least in neutral and, like, gapping off damage. Uh, Basically, it's one of those matchups where, like, oh, I, I got to pay the taxes. And, like, at 60, I kind of start playing a bit. But don't get me wrong, that matchup is still... Like even or slight uh chic favor in my opinion. Mm. Yeah. Um but I guess that's just how the matchup works. Just like getting destroyed, you play taxes. Uh and then of course it's chic. You gotta take advantage of all of her habits and everything she does to die early, right? Yeah. I don't know. It it did look very rough. Cause like it did look like neutral was pretty much okay for Sheik. I mean, I think that's how a lot of her matchups go. It's like she does pretty well in neutral, then gets wrecked a little bit and then dies and that's it. Because like she cannot really do much. Um like and like I said, literally, uh, yeah, I think all three games that you won were comebacks. Like all of them. Like whether it was one or two stocks, they were all comebacks. He was so he was like this close, but then it was yeah. like, yeah, I said, hey, that's it. Sh- like GG. Shout out to Webb. He's so good. I love playing uh like players like Webb playing Sheik. Bro, like she is, <clears throat> oh man, <laughs> she gonna be more consistent, but she dies so early. But playing as good she is always fun. Yeah, yeah, it is fun. Uh, but yeah, interesting uh run. It was. I mean, unfortunately, you got thirteen. But uh, 
There's another thing about uh, you getting 13, losing to Japan again, and that is that I saw you registered but twice, for... Uh... Twice this oh, yeah. time. Twice this yeah. time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Both, both were Japanese players this time. <laughs> um, I saw you registered for Kagaribi and Delta. Delta has one week before Kagaribi, for those who yeah. don't know. Both during Golden Week. Or not one week, but like a couple days yeah, before Yeah, well, like Kagaribi. one day before, maybe. Yeah, two. yeah, yeah. Um, so does this mean that maybe you're gonna get your revenge in Japan? A lot of people have asked me that if I wanted to get my <laughs> run back. But bro, I just hope that I get the chance to play run. Because of course there's a lot of people in the bracket. There's a lot of uh like people from this part of the world going to that tournament. So I don't know what are the chances for me to go and literally have play those people again. in my bracket, you know. If yeah. they do that, then thank you because I do want to get my from back. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know about the chances. That's that's why I'm being a little bit more realistic. Oh, before before we move on with uh, another topic. Speaking of Ron, because I was wondering, how do you feel about Pyre and Mithra in that matchup? Um, good, but there's this thing, bro, where like I stopped playing Pyre and Mithra for, for. Oh uh, yeah, I mean maybe not whatever, but like, but like. For now, no Pyramithra. No Pyramithra. Yeah, no. I, I think you're doing fine like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> May, but, but maybe uh, some matchups is worth it, you know? Like, Yeah. It's kind of what you were telling me about Rob, though, where it's like, do you really want that character to cover you, like, one or two matchups? I mean, because, like, for example, you want Pyramithra to cover Yoshi. How many Yoshis are you going to encounter, right? It's like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's, I don't know. It's up to you. But, uh, yeah, that's the way I see it. Um, yeah, so Japan... Gonna be exciting for sure if you do get your run back. And if you don't, then... Well, I mean, there's also Kagaribi. Maybe you can find him at Kagaribi, which yeah, they, the probabilities are lower, but yeah. There's a million tournaments there, but... Yeah. Maybe I could just money match him. I'm not just kidding. I know. <laughs> <Money match> yeah. <laughs> I'll it to YouTube, like, no. <laughs> yeah. YouTube content, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, that's, um... That's good. It's good that, um... You're going to Japan. I mean, we are going to Japan. It's yeah, gonna it's going to be exciting. Insane. Yeah. I mean, I saw your tweet. You haven't been to Japan in what, five years? Yeah, exactly. Five years. Uh, before, I mean, before quarantine was the last time I went. I miss the food, bro. I miss the curry. I miss ramen. Ooh, so oh, good. dude. Everyone says that about Japan, that the food is so great. And I do believe it. I mean, I've never had authentic Japanese food, or at least not that I can think of. But I know for a fact that it's good, you're, you know? You, you're you about to get fat, bro. Yeah, yeah oh, gonna, more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, we're going to eat a lot. We're going to eat a lot. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, Yeah, but anyways, uh, let's talk a little bit more about uh, the tournament in general. So about... how was the venue like? Because I don't know if it was at the mm. same spot that it was last year. I know the last spot was great. But uh, yeah, how no. was this one? Uh. I mean, I did tell you it was in the building in front of the bridge, uh, but this time it was, I don't know how to call it, but uh, but I guess it's kind of like the lower floor. It was like a big venue. No, I lie. It kind of like, it was kind of like the same size of the last as the last year. Uh, it mm. wasn't that much sunlight. That was the only different part. It was kind of dark. I, I don't know what you think, but I do kind of like dark venues. Like sometimes oh, it makes yeah. me, it helps me like focusing on the game, but that's just me. But it was so like quite big, a lot of setups to play with, a lot of games to play too. Um, the I feel like the stream matches were really watchable. If you know what I mean? Like oh, it was really yeah. easy to watch. Um, and I don't know, like I feel like the schedule, at least for me, was really fine. Like I remember waking up, I still watched some of the sets like in bed. I went to the venue and I was finished within like three hours and and that that went pretty well like good schedule too and I know from the other players they also like I was watching and playing and they played immediately like there was there were some people that like was on a stream and then like their the next match was them on stream too. So, oh okay, that's like, nice. Yeah, they, they were playing fast. No, nice. Okay, so pretty good scale. I mean, Battle BC in general is a it's a good tournament overall. So yeah, that's pretty mm -hmm. nice. Um, I know they have a date for next year, so maybe a April? we go next year. Yeah, uh, yeah. You thinking about going? Frankly? Uh, this time for sure. See, the problem this time around was that there was like four tournaments in March, and I went to two of them. If I had gone to Battle of BC, there would have been three in a row. 
Mm. Um, one of the one of the tournaments I went to in March was not worth it, but that's another topic. Um, but if there's not that many tournaments in April next year, I'm going 100. You know, nice. It is just like I think eh, it's a fun tournament. I like it. We should yeah. go next time. We should go next year, Papu, for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. But, 100%. Uh, I guess about the tournament. I saw everybody really passionate. I saw everybody like really hype about it. I guess like. I mean, get like us getting beaten by Japanese players is always fun to watch. So it's fun to experience. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Because this time, not even our best like pick or best player could like defend us, which is uh, kind of insane. Like Horde, uh, I mean, every Japanese player shot us to them. They're all very good. But Horde, man, like really, I never seen a snake like that. Holy. Hurt is crazy, dude. Like, even I'm scared of him. Like, he's beating me, yeah. So, like, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. That that, char- that, that character is built different, and Hurt is built different, too. Like, like you said, he was just covering everything. He was reacting so fast to everything. Like, that last stock to win the tournament, he literally read Spargo's jump from ledge. He then read oh, yeah. his recovery with the Nikita twice. Um, I don't know, dude. He's crazy. I'm- he's insane. I remember, like, the Nikita hit him at, like, 88, something like that. And he yeah. just, like, he just, <laughs> it, like, imploded, bro. Like, yes. Yeah. Snake is also a really strong character. Um, yeah. And do you see that? I don't know if you saw the tweets, but, like, do you see that he was playing with a with a controller that was, like, uh, one of those GameCube <laughs> USB controllers? That, okay. That, that was very funny because, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I saw the controller. So Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. So I did see the controller. It's not. It's, it's not a lie. It's not a lie. So you, you can confirm it's real. I can confirm because uh, one of my friends. <laughs> I was watching a friend from Michigan playing, and he got to play Horde in his pool, like round one. Mm. And yeah, bro, like I can confirm Horde plugged in his controller. Like, <laughs> no way, I mean, no, dude. no blame on him. No blame on him, of course. But like, holy. <laughs> <that's, laughs> Dude, it's just so crazy because I did see a tweet about that that was like, oh, the melee discourse is like, oh, your box controller, all oh, your fob controllers, and then her just like, oh yeah, look at my toddler controller, <laughs> dude. It's like, <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Oh my god. But I mean, I swear. personally, I've always thought that like controllers are just a preference. You know, it's like, do you want to play with this? Do you want to play with this? Do you want to play with this? It's okay. It's whatever. Like, as long as you can make your things work, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, people are always like, what's the best controller? It's like, there's no best no, controller. No. You just got to get comfortable with one of them. It, it, yeah, it's one. the best for you. It's not the best for, like, in everyone. general. It's the best for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, it is kind of funny, though. It's a pretty funny controller because <laughs> uh, I was considered buying it, and no, it's too funny. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I, <laughs> When Smash 4 came out, I didn't have a GameCube adapter because they were all sold out. And to play with a GameCube controller, I used to play with that controller. I had like oh. a like a Mario one. So. Oh, dude! Did you ever know, see the? Did you ever see like a SpongeBob controller, the one that had like a little nose in it sticking no. out? No. Well, I was had that, that a one. GameCube. The, yeah. Was that a GameCube controller? No. <laughs> yeah, I had that one, and I unironically played Melee with that. But uh, <laughs> the wave know. dashes with L. Yeah, we- <laughs> uh, dude. Um, apparently, some people were also talking about that controller. You know how those controllers actually have a turbo button? Yeah, um, yeah, I know. Yeah, and some people were talking about that. They were like, "Oh, how useful is it?" And well, it's really not that useful in Ultimate, right? Like, you can't really cheat or anything with that. Like, no. it's whatever. Like, if people are gonna start saying stuff like that, it's like, nah. No, no, no. Like, why are you gonna do turbo? Like, if you input <laughs> the same input every single time, it's like nothing happens like what will happen like input turbo for up to yeah like and input what? turbo for f smash like <laughs> yeah dude. like I mean, what yeah, yeah with snake like come on bro it's not gonna do anything um yeah no but i mean shout outs to her definitely great um i'd like to say <clears throat> as of right now as of right now he is the best snake in the world right best snake yeah 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 winning battle of bc beating spargo um beating Dormigi. spargo yeah okay spargo, i knew i was forgetting about one player Dormigi. and i really wanted to talk about him yeah um doramigi min min 
everyone's been talking about this player because he's been doing waves in Japan. He's yep. probably the only minman right now since Proto Banham stops playing. Yep. Or I mean, Proto actually just recently played, but that's not our topic. Dora Miki, what do you think of him? He's Min Min. I know your takes on Min Min. I know you hate Min yeah. Min. I mean, who doesn't? Even I hate Min Min. So. Of course. Yeah. What's up? I think he is very good. The way he uses the arms like off stage, something I've never seen. Yeah, you, I, you're right. I hate Min Min. I really hate Min Min, but I'm not going to lie. That's, that's cinema. That's, that's, that's a very good <laughs> Min Min. Like, I don't know if you've seen, like, there, there was a lot of clips from Dora Miki, like, the last weekend. A lot of them were him, like, edgeguarding people, basically. Mm-hmm. And the way he edgeguards is just immaculate. Like, near, like, arm, near arm, arm into into something read. Like, I feel like she's the only meme that goes for reads. Like, why wouldn't other memes that go for reads? You know what I'm saying? Like, they he throws out uh, one arm and he just waits for you to respond. Like, like yeah. that's, that's very smart. But, like, that's because he knows really well the timings of the arms like coming back and like retreating everything. So yeah, impressive. I don't want to play Dora Miki like ever. <laughs> <clears throat> Loki, you might get to play him in Japan. Yeah. See, it's so fun to say things like this. Cause like, it's like, Oh, you could play this guy. You could play that other guy. Oh, you could get your run back. And it's like, there's so many players, dude. Like, I don't know. But uh, yeah. yeah, Dora Miki is definitely a very interesting uh, mid min. Like he's been, uh, I mean, it's been a while since we last saw a top mid min, like, in a top eight of like mm-hmm. an A tier, S tier, whatever it was. Um, Proto Banham, obviously, not competing too often anymore. Like I said, he competed, I believe, last weekend or two weeks ago. He lost to Kameme. But before that, he had not been competing. So seeing a Min Min again, I don't know if it's nice, <laughs> but it's good that he, that Dora Miki himself is doing well, okay? I don't like Min Min, but props to, props to Dora Miki. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes Min Min first, you know. No, nah. no. Nah. Nah, I don't even think people who have a good matchup against Min Min like think, oh yeah, I like yeah. fighting Min Min. Like no, it, no one likes it. I guess we're gonna learn the matchup little by little. It's a good thing that there's more Min Min's coming out, uh, for yeah. sure. But maybe the meta is not done yet. You know what I'm saying? Like even oh, yeah, characters no. like Min Min that are really are like that we knew that was were really broken. They were still like pulling out some crazy stuff. So uh, yeah, the future is even it's uncertain, even darker. Yeah, yeah. Because Min Min being more broken, I don't like that future. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that is definitely a possibility for the future. And you are kind of right about the fact that like the meta is not done. It's probably the the biggest reason as to why. If there's gonna be another Smash game, I don't want it to be like a new Smash game. You know, like. I don't know what you think, but I think <clears throat> this Smash game is really, really, like, close to being perfect. Like, it just needs one patch or two that fixes some bugs, some characters, and then it's perfect. Like, the meta is, is good. It's just Steve, Min Min, you know? It's, I don't know. Yeah. There's a couple things here and there, but, if, yeah. If you think, like... Okay, you th- if you think that there's another <laughs> game, would you say that they do fix these characters? Like, oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because see, the thing about it is, like, they, in my opinion, for example, and this is just my opinion, if they were to release a Smash Deluxe, I don't think they would just be like, oh yeah, have this game for our new console. It's literally the exact same thing from the last one, so yeah, just buy it again. It's like no, because with Mario Kart Eight, like when they did the Deluxe version from Wii U switch it's like they didn't change too much at the beginning before like the dlc but they gave you know like an extra item like i think they did add like a couple characters and and like racetracks but it's the same thing with ultimate like are you just gonna give them the same game maybe (laughs) hopefully not but the most obvious thing to do is to like at least change a couple things you know Mm. That makes a lot of sense. Hopefully, in my opinion, I would like other lots as well because I really want this meta to keep going. I really yeah. want to see yeah. until what we take it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we become the second melee. That would be mm-hmm. that would be a lot of fun to play. Imagine just like going to tournaments, like going back and forth with everybody. Like we all know yeah. the meta. That, that would be so much fun. I, I would love to keep playing. I, know, I think so too. And especially that, like be melee too would be nice. And not in the sense of like, oh, be the same as Melee, like gameplay-wise, right? But mm-hmm. the fact that like, you know, it's quote-unquote the same game over and over again because it's so good. 
no one really yeah, like, wants like a major change you know yeah we keep playing it and we like <clears throat> like we just make it deeper you know like we just we just keep investing in the game that's that's fun i like it yeah yeah exactly uh but anyways Dora Migi, <sighs> stay away from both of our brackets please ha 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 please thank you now that we're going <laughs> to build on kagaribi please please but no, not alive. We want to like win those tournaments. We might have to run into Thor, like Thor. Oh Mimi, yeah, so. and in my case, Torikuri. So both of them are <laughs> damn are projected to be played, right? So yeah, you know, I was thinking about that the last time, like like the last time we beat a Japanese player. When was the last time you beat a Japanese player, for example? And be honest, it was um, T at UFA. When was UFA? Uh November. Okay, so it's not that long. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. but before that, <laughs> before when was that, the last time? It was <clears throat> gacked at a crown. You know what? Never mind. Yeah, I'm capping. Okay, because I was going to say, we haven't beaten the Japanese player in a while, but no, I beat gacked at 4 priority too. Uh, okay, so it's going to be interesting then. Japan trip is going to be interesting for sure in that case. It's just, they're a pretty strong region, man. Like, I kind of had my doubts at the beginning because I was like, my record against Japanese players is pretty good and yours is too. But no, the more I watch them, like, I think their meta progressed a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, in my opinion. It'll be so much fun, bro. I'm excited. I can't wait to go to Japan. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be the best time. Uh, yeah, it will be fun. Um... So, yeah, uh, what is your next event in that case? Bro, you don't want to ask me that because my next event is this weekend, Diamond Dust. Oh. Um, for those who want to know, I'm third seed. Yeah, it's this weekend, so make sure you watch. I'm going to be putting the stream on social, social medias, of course. Uh, there's, I'm, for, I'm third seed. The first seed is Shattuck. The second seed is Riddles. I'm third. And there's a lot of people going. There's, uh, okay, me, Big Boss. There's the bus, there's Onin, there's Riddles, there's Neo, there's Shattuck, and there's Shiny Mark, which I play for top eight, so it'll be fun. Ooh, Shiny Mark is going? Yeah. Insane. Okay. Dude, that tournament is stacked. Look. Yeah, it's, it's B+. Plus. Like, I'm pretty sure it should be A. Yeah, yeah, Wink, yeah, yeah. wink but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be A. Um, Where did you say it is? Michigan? Michigan, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Um... Well, I mean, good luck for sure. Um, so you say you have Shiny Mark in your path, and then if you yeah. win, uh, who, do you, uh, who do you play? Uh, Riddles in top eight. Oh if, my! If fuck. everything goes as planned, it will be and so fun because I feel like it's one of those tournaments where I where I have a lot of people that I struggle with. Yeah. Owning Riddles, Shiny Mark. With Shiny and Neo, I'm fine because just like oh, Corin, like I'm okay yeah. with Corin. Yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. be fun. You know, seeing those type of brackets is frustrating at first because you go like, oh damn, I struggle with all of these players, right? But then you go like, you know what, let's just do it. So I, I feel like that's how you feel right now, right? Yeah, that's how I definitely feel. Like <laughs> I wanna fucking do it. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, if you want to win, you got to beat everyone. Yeah. So. I, I'm low-key glad that I played Shiny Mark before top eight. I want to I wanna play Shiny Mark. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Get that run back from Collision last year. Definitely. Bro, everything happened last year. I'm so sad. <laughs> like, it, 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 bro, literally, like, people come up to me and be like, you you, you want a run back, bro? It literally takes a year to get a fucking run back. What do you mean? I gotta wait so long, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. It does take quite a while. There's a, lot, <laughs> there's a lot of factors to that, too. I mean, the fact that there's not that many tournaments, and then if there is a tournament and you're going, you have to pray that the other player is going. And then you have yeah. to pray that it's in your bracket. So, like, yeah, yeah well. Yeah. Or, like, everything can happen in Losers too. But, bro, it took a year, man. Like, <laughs> how, how much time do you think I would, it would take for me to take the run back on run? That, that's so Dude, crazy. I know you're, like, in that case, you're probably, like, <laughs> blue balled with your run back versus Onan because it's been two years. Yeah, it's been two years. Also with Kameme, with, bro. Oh, yeah. You know, you know that shit happens. There's Damn. only a few players that you get your run back really often with. But yeah. that doesn't matter. What what about your tournament? What's your next stuff? Well, the next one for me is the Luminosity Invitational, which more details coming soon. But uh, after that, Japan. Woo! I'm literally leaving. Woo! 
after <laughs> the Japan. Oh, no, the Japanese. After uh, the Luminosity Invitation, I'm leaving right after that. So that's going to be crazy. It's going to be very, very interesting. Awesome. I'll see you in Japan, bro. That's yeah. going to be so much fun. Ooh. Uh, Japan, <sighs> Japan, Japan. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess that's it. Make sure you watch in the tournaments because it's about to be hype. We're about to break it. We're really excited to keep going. But, of course, thank you so much for watching the Go Talks. Please subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, leave a comment, please, in, in case you think we're going to win the next tournament. So, please just say yes. See you next time. <laughs> Take care, goats. Bye.